Welcome back to Al Do It, guys. Today we're going to be doing a review on the brand new for 2020 Browning Patriot. This retails for $199.99 and you guys can go over to browningtrailcameras.com to pick one of these guys up. I'll put the link down in the video description so you guys can click right on there. Go to Browning's website and pick one up. Um, they have everything from batteries, SD cards, tree mounts, anything you guys need to get your trail cam in the field and running. Browning's got you covered. Um, I'm a huge fan of Browning trail cams. One of the features that I really like and I think is really important is a two inch color viewing screen. It makes everything simple guys. Set up, checking your pictures, checking your battery life, checking the angle you have. Because a lot of the times I know I've struggled with getting everything in the frame where I thought I had a trail cam set up the right way and I went back to check them and it just wasn't set on the right spot. So you can miss stuff that way. So I highly recommend getting one with a two inch color viewing screen. It's a big plus. Um, and I just like Browning because I've had an overall good experience with their products. They're quality, they're reliable. This Patriot right here has dual lens technology. So it has a camera for, you can see it's got two cameras on the front. And we'll get into these details a lot more once we go inside and unbox it. That's what we're gonna do next. And then we're gonna put this camera out in the field for you guys. And we're gonna test it for a couple weeks, check the battery life, see how it holds up to the weather. But we're gonna run it on picture mode and video mode. I'll drop all that footage right into this video so you guys can check it out. So we're gonna cover everything. Um, anyway, it's got two lenses, one for daytime pictures, one for nighttime. And you can also change this camera's video settings from 30 frames per second to 60 frames per second. Okay, so depending on what you wanna do, you have some options here. I also did reviews, guys, on the Browning Defender Wireless, the Spec Ops Advantage, the Spec Ops Edge. I also did the Recon Force Edge. So if you wanna check any of them reviews out to help you guys figure out which one's best for you or which one you guys like the best, then I'll link them down in the video description as well. So you guys can just go ahead and click on them and check them out. If you guys haven't subscribed though, make sure you smash that red subscribe button down for me. Give this video a like if you like Browning Trail Camera reviews. Also drop a comment guys and let me know if this video helped you guys in making a decision to go ahead and purchase one of these Browning Patriots. If you guys could please share this video too, it really helps my channel out. This camera features full HD video at 1920 by 1080 and it has sound. And I love running video on my trail cams. I think it tells you a lot more about your hunting property and it's just funner. So if you're looking for a camera that's easy to use and set up and the price is right, it's definitely comparable and you're getting a really good bang for your buck with Browning trail cams, I would highly recommend going with one of these. Now we're gonna go ahead and go inside. Um, we'll unbox it, we'll put the batteries in, we'll put the SD cards in and I'll show you guys all that. You will definitely know after watching this video how to fully use this camera and set it up. That's why, you know, this video might be a little bit longer, but I'm going to make sure you guys know what you're doing. Um, it's simple though. It's really not hard at all, but I like doing these to help you guys out as much as I can. All right, guys, let's get this thing on box. Uh, you get your tree strap here. Um, I use a stick and pick. Uh, it's like a metal tree bracket that screws into the tree. Um, not a big fan of the straps, but Browning gives you a steel tree mount on the back too. Um, get your instruction manual. Model BTC Patriot FHD is the model number. Um, and let's go ahead and open it up. And you see right here, you got your battery tray. Um, SD card goes in here. Um, let's put some batteries in it and, uh, and get this thing fired up. All right, guys, these are the batteries I'm using. These are the Energizer Lithiums. Um, they're double A's. 
and this Patriot takes eight of them, I would highly recommend getting a lithium battery. It's going to last you a lot longer in the wood, so you're going to be changing your batteries less, okay? Save you a couple trips. We'll hit eject right here on a battery tray. And that just pulls right out, okay? And it'll show you guys which side um, goes which way, okay? So we'll go ahead and put the positive down. Go ahead and we'll slide the battery tray back in. Snaps right in like that. Let me get an SD card. We're gonna be putting a SanDisk uh, Micro 128 gig in. I like to go with the bigger cards because when I run video, it takes up a lot of space and I don't have to empty them so often, okay? Make sure that locks in. And then we're going to go ahead and power this Patriot up. All right, let's go to, we're going to hit batteries 100. Saying I got some pictures on here. That's okay. We're going to, we're going to go through and format the SD card anyway. You want to do that regardless. Okay. Um, let's see the date. Go ahead and set up the date here. June. Let's see, what's today? 28th, 2020, hit OK, come down at a time, check the time for you, 9.42, 9.42am, right, mode, yeah, we can leave it in trail cam mode, um, capture delay, I'm going to go down uh, one second. Um, pick size medium now nah, we're gonna go ultra 24 megapixels hit ok on that multi shots off cap start cap end I think you can set you can set a time to where it takes pictures during certain times like a capture start and then we're not gonna set that up um, smart infrared definitely gonna leave that on what that's gonna do is guys with the smart infrared, it's not it doesn't set your video to a length, but it's gonna trigger the camera to stay on as long as the animal's triggering the camera. Okay. Um, let's go back up. Night exposure, long range. We're gonna leave that there. Fahrenheit for temperature. Info strips on. SD management. We're gonna go ahead and turn that on too. And what that's gonna do is, guys, if you fill your SD cards up. That SD management feature is going to overwrite the oldest data on the card. So you'll always have your newest images and videos on your SD card. Motion detect, long range, motion test. Um, I'll show you this when we get out into the field, but a little light comes on to let you know that you're in frame. So that's a good way of setting your camera up to make sure you're capturing everything you want. That's pretty cool language. It has different languages. Stay English. We're going to name this camera um, Patriot, okay? And that's cool. You don't have to put as many characters as it allows. You can just not put anything. I'll show you right here. Just hit down right there after the zero, okay? That's set. Default settings, delete all. <clears throat> okay, this is where we're going to format the SD card, so you want to hit OK on that. Delete all, yes. Okay. You can do the software upgrade if you need to. Um, this menu is a little different, guys, than my other, and you'll see in my other reviews. Like I said, definitely check them out. I got a bunch of Browning trail cam reviews that I've done already. Um, and this is part of the reason why. I do these setup videos because this this is definitely a different layout than the other ones, so it'll help you guys out. Um, all right, so I think we're pretty much set up there. That delay is different too. On the other cameras, it's at least 20 seconds, I think. Um, it might even be 30, but this one is. It looks like you when you hit this, 
You only got about 10 seconds to get out of there and the camera is going to start going off. As you can see here, my battery is 100%. That's good. And then I got zero pictures because I formatted the SD card. So if you wanted, I wanted to show you real quick too. Like if you wanted to change the mode from trail camera to video, you would just go, oh, there's a time lapse feature. That's pretty cool. Um, you would just hit video, hit OK. Okay, we have the smart infrared on. But if you wanted to change the video length, it's right here. You would hit OK, 10 to 20, all the way up to 2 minutes, okay? But when that smart infrared's on, it's automatically, there's no video length. It just depends on what's moving in front of the camera. One thing to keep in mind, though, with the smart infrared is at night, it won't take as long as the video as it does during the day. But either way, guys... Um, I think I'm going to leave this on trail cam mode, and then once we get out into the field, um, we'll be able to, you know, change that. I don't know. I'll either run it on trail cam mode or video. The finish on this too, guys, is kind of really cool. It's like a grippy, rough material. Um, I haven't really noticed that on the other brownings, but um, yeah, there's a, some good shots of it, so you can kind of see the size. And that's where that tree bracket goes that I was telling you about, that stick and pick that I use. It's just a lot easier to mess with straps. There's your um, auxiliary power, your 12 volt DC, like if you're gonna run um, external power source, that's where that would go. There's your dual lenses. One camera, like I said in the intro, is for daytime shots and the other one's for nighttime shots. And you can see this is a no glow. Let's go over some of the features of this camera, guys. It's the 110 plus feet invisible night vision infrared illumination. And what that's gonna give you is, you can see like on the front of the camera, it's all blacked out. Um, it's not a red glow, it's a no glow camera. So you won't see the flash going off, okay? And we'll go over all of them. Um, like I said in the intro, full HD 1920 by 1080. Video resolution with audio, night vision uh, technology, night viz. This camera shoots photos at 24 megapixels. Dual camera lens technology. We went over that a little bit. One lens for daytime, one for night. The two inch color viewing screen. Definitely a must have. Invisible night infrared illumination. 110 feet illumination range at night. 90 foot infrared detection range that's awesome guys adjustable flash range power save long range 1920 by 1080 full hd videos with sound at 60 frames per second five seconds to two minute length 0.15 second trigger speed 0.35 second picture recovery time aluma smart technology automatically adjust infrared flash for perfect night photos all steel tree mountain bracket Long battery life from eight AA batteries not included. SD card management, up to eight multi-shot images, up to eight rapid fire images, smart infrared video, selectable start stop image timer, programmable picture delay, one second to 60 minutes. Picture info bar displays time, date, temperature, moon phase, barometric pressure, camera ID, multilingual programming menu, 12 volt external power jack support up to 5 12 gigabyte sdxe memory card not included one for the tripod socket that's where i was telling you guys about that stick and pick bracket i use compact case size five by three and three quarters by two and a half inches um, time lapse plus camera mode with infrared triggered images compatible with browning buck watch time-lapse viewer software all right guys i know that was a lot um and i know you can read the box but i just like going over the features so basically you're going to need batteries and an sd card to get this camera running they do not come with this camera so there's, there's a couple things you're going to have to buy all right guys we're going to go ahead and get this out into the field um we got to set up it's ready to go so it's going to take a couple weeks, but I'm going to take all the footage from this camera and I'll put it in this video so you guys can see what this Browning Patriot has to offer. Okay, stay tuned.